I think what, what I'm going to try to do here, since, since time is short, is to really kind of get right down to business and um, I'll go over some specific things that you can do uh, with wild game cooking, but I'm also going to go along with some general principles, first of all. Um, and the first, really the place to, that I'm, that I'm going to start with is how do you cook it? And by that, mean, by that I don't mean, you know, um, what recipe do you use, but, you know, using what kind of methods of cooking, you know, how can you do it successfully? Wild game is unique. It's, it can be absolutely wonderful. Um, it's, it's nutritious. It's local. It has all those virtues. But the main thing about it is you cannot, you can't cook it as you would cook domestic meat because it's, it's, it's a very, very lean meat and um, can, can take on very strong flavors if you, if, you don't, if, you don't, if you just sort of say, okay, throw it in the oven, you know, cook it 350, take it out in a half hour. You can end up something that's very dry and, and not flavorful, and it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to be sort of a crowning of, of the hunt, but it's going to be kind of a letdown. So, so what I'm going to do now, actually, is I'm going to get out um, a venison tenderloin from, uh, from the butchering demo that, that earlier. And I'm gonna show you what, I'm just gonna kinda walk you folks through what I do, do with, with, with uh, a venison tenderloin. I know it's in here. Uh, there it is. Very typical, let's, let's sort of say we, we, just, we just got in from hunting. Um, we're at deer camp, we're all hungry. How can we do this quickly? Now this, this base, so the back strap on venison is, um, essentially one long muscle on either side of the spine. So you try to just um, get, lose as little meat as possible, almost as if you were filleting a fish, you know. And I can turn the knife here to, to sort of make the end go all the way around here. Um, and I'm gonna cut this into medallions, and then we're gonna, we're gonna all get a chance to try these medallions. Um, but I'm just gonna, Try to get all of that out so we don't get any of the strong taste in here. I'm going to cut this in really small medallions, really thin slices, and then marinate it for a little bit while, we, while I talk, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna flash fry it in the, uh, in, in the pan here. This is, this is probably the most common thing I, I do with venison uh, that I'm gonna put on the grill or, or in the fry pan. So what it is, is, is it's a wine, uh, you know, inexpensive red wine, you know, dry. Um, probably a cup of that. Probably about a third of a cup of some sort of oil. But not uh, olive. But not olive. Not olive. Um, two cloves of garlic, black pepper, and um, and some sea salt, very simple marinade. We're gonna put it over this. Again, it does not have to sit long because it's a very, very tender cut and venison's got plenty of flavor. Okay. Yeah, so very quickly. And I'm gonna... Oh, it is? Yeah. All right. We've learned from the first two here, right? Um, yeah, it is. It's definitely from stuff that's w from today. You want it to start have a little bit of color, and you want it to be, um, you want it to feel like almost like a meat, like a fist that you're making, like the way that the the texture that your thumb feels. That's what you're what you're looking for. It's going to be exquisitely tender and good. Oh, 